In previous videos, we looked at the general characteristics of lipids, as well as the most simple form of lipid, fatty acids. Waxes are another type of lipid. Waxes are esters that are formed from long-chain carboxylic acids and long-chain alcohols. Beeswax is one common example of a wax. It's formed from a 26-carbon carboxylic acid and a 30-carbon alcohol. Because of their very long, nonpolar hydrocarbon components, waxes are very water repellent. This is a very useful property which makes waxes present in a number of living things. The feathers of birds are coated with wax to make their wings water repellent. Insects will often secrete a waterproof waxy layer on the outside of their exoskeletons. Wax can also be found on the surface of certain leaves and fruits where it serves as a protectant against parasites and minimizes the evaporation of water. Triglycerides are another type of lipid. Triglycerides are triesters formed by a reaction between a glycerol molecule and three fatty acids. Simple triglycerides have the same three fatty acids, whereas mixed triglycerides will have two or more different fatty acids. If a triglyceride is solid or semi-solid at room temperature, it's known as a fat. These fats are often composed of saturated or monounsaturated fatty acids and will generally have high melting points. In contrast, triglycerides that are liquid at room temperature are known as oils. Oils are composed typically of mostly unsaturated fatty acids and will have relatively low melting points. Many fats are derived from animals, whereas oils typically come from pr plant products. In nature, fats serve as an insulation and energy source for animals. Unlike glycogen, which is a polysaccharide and is very highly oxidized, fats are less oxidized and provide a much slower source of energy production in living things. Another common type of lipid is a, known as a phospholipid. Phospholipids are lipids that contain a phosphate group. One of the most common examples of a phospholipids are the phosphoglycerides, which are similar to triglycerides, except they have a phosphate group replacing one of the fatty acid components. Phospholipids are useful because they form membranes for cells by creating what's known as a phospholipid bilayer. In these bilayers, we have two layers of phospholipids with their polar heads on the surfaces of the bilayers, while their nonpolar hydrocarbon tails are toward the inside of the cell membrane. The more saturated the fatty acid tails are, the more rigid the membrane will be due to the strong dispersion forces of the nonpolar fatty acid tails. One phospholipid that's used in foods are known as lecithins. Lecithins are useful for preventing aqueous and fat layers from separating. The polar ends with the oxygens and the phosphates will align themselves toward the aqueous components, whereas the nonpolar hydrocarbon components will align themselves with the nonpolar or fat part of the foods.